Um, I guess I'm going to do this as a video response to uh, Pete at the Armory channel. Um, he recently did a video of all the knives he had, and I've, I've collected, well you can see here, I got, I got five knives. I've got a couple more at work. Um, these are the ones I have at the house. Um, since my wife won't let me buy many guns, I figure uh, I'll start collecting knives. So, I guess we'll kind of go smallest to largest. See how that works. Uh, this little guy right here, is, I believe it's a CRKT. This is what they call the Ichi. I guess it's one of the guys they hired in. This thing is razor sharp. But uh, the tip on it, it's so fine that I'm afraid to use it for anything. I'm afraid it's going to break. So this kind of just sits in my drawer, collecting a little bit of dust. But every once in a while, when I'm pretty confident the tip's not going to break, I'll cut a package open or something, because that tip, I mean, that sucker, no effort at all, it'll cut through anything. Alright, and this guy right here, this is another CRKT. This is the first pocket knife that I ever bought that cost more than probably about $10. I think I got this off, uh, the Cornwell tool guy that stops by the shop had a nice display. Uh, this this one isn't an assisted opener, but um, it's got that little flipper. So you pull it out of your pocket, hit the flipper, and it pops right open. This has got the Tonto edge, Tanto, Tonto, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this knife out of the box is pretty sharp, not really impressed, not anywhere near as sharp as that Ichi right there. But this knife is a lot heavier duty. For a good long time, this was the knife I carried everywhere I went. And I would have total confidence that this would do anything I needed to do. Let's see. Leave them all open on the table. This one right here is my latest purchase. This is another CRKT knife. Um, oh, by the way, that this knife is a uh, out of the M16 line from CRKT, and this CRKT knife, I believe, is called the Igniter T. Uh, this is a assisted opening, and to open it, it doesn't have a flipper, and you can't just push it open. Let me see if you guys can see this. They've got a new system with a f there's a frame lock. I guess it's a liner lock down here, but then there's a lock up high and when you push that button it unlocks the blade you can even hear that click maybe but I tried as hard as I could to get this thing to open but until you push that button and then just give it just a tiny bit of flip that sucker flips open in a hurry what sold me on this knife was those serrations. I tell ya, those things are sharp. When I was checking this knife out, I touched them and I thought I'd cut my finger open, but just cut through like the top layer of skin. I didn't bleed at all, but I was like, wow, that is way sharper than I thought it was. I guess that's what you'd call a clip point. But yeah, this knife is not ambidextrous because of that 
locking system that locks it closed. CRKT, igniter T. And this is now my everyday carry. And I'll mention, I'm not usually a fan of serrations. Because that's why that's why I found this one. This was hard to find because all these M16 lines, all of them had the serrations. And they're just the normal serrations I don't like. But when I saw these bad boys, I was this I was sold. And let's see here. This one is a Smith and Wesson Spec Ops knife. This is an assisted opener. It's got a safety switch. Red. Ready to go. No red. Safe. And see that little thumb stud right there? That's not a flipper. It's actually a switch. You pull that, you push that switch down this way. And it comes out. This is another Tanto Edge. For whatever reason, I just I seem to like that blade shape. It's a pretty neat looking knife. It's got some well, well that jipping up there isn't that great. But I guess on the frame you've got that little flipper switch. Stop your finger from riding over. There's some decent grip down here. And uh, actually this side of the frame here, it's like grip tape on a skateboard. You're not slipping anywhere on that. On the other side, I was pleased to see that they didn't put that grip tape on here, because when you put that in your pocket, man, if that were that grip tape, it would rip that rip your pocket up in no time. But um Yeah, it's it's molded into the grip. It is decently grippy, but like I said, if you're a right hander, you're gonna be holding it like this on the grip tape. We're gonna have your thumb on the stud. And this is a I guess this was my favorite knife. I just got that igniter. This was my favorite one. It's a Kershaw. Canon designed, I guess. This is the Cyclone. This is the large one, as you can see. It's a pretty big boy. And this is assisted opener. It's got the speed safe system. You can turn the assist on, turn the assist off. I like to leave it on. Just hit the flipper. She comes out. That's a it's a wide blade. And this I was carrying this one for a while. It's a little dirty. Got a couple of rust spots on the blade. But uh that's just part of your normal maintenance, keeping your knives clean, oiled well. So yeah, I'll just 